welcome back to another vlog. Uh, in this episode, as the intro sort of suggested, we're going to be working on the RS6. Um, we're going to be bolting on the first performance uh, part for this car. Um, thanks to TGK Motorsports in the US, um, they do a range of parts for the 4 litre turbo platform. Things like S6, RS7 over there, they don't have the RS6, um, but uh, running gear is pretty much the same. So. Um, we're going to get straight into it, but before we do, um, I'll show you what we've got. So we've got one of their uh, intake uh, intakes. Um, comes with this nice uh, sort of cast aluminium uh, piece, single inlet um, to or intake to the the two the dual inlets into the turbo. Um, comes with a nice big silicon hose and a massive. I think it's like an eight inch filter um, on this thing. Uh, as well just to make sure it gets all the air. We're not expecting any gains performance wise but uh, the th this thing sounds unreal so um, we're going to do some before and after clips as well. Um, don't know how well it's going to come across in video but we'll uh, we'll do our best to get the, uh, the sound. Thanks to Tyler from TGK he's put up a really in-depth instructional video. I think he managed to do the video or the video is about 20 something minutes long. Um, I'm hoping that's sort of indicating about how long it's going to take. Um, but these things, I mean, under the engine cover, I'll get that off, but these things are, uh, oh, now that's off, but these things are a mess. Um, bolts for everything, clamps, hoses, you name it. Uh, and for this install, we basically need to remove the air box, uh, the intakes, the inlets, and to get to those bolts underneath, um, underneath or here, we've got to take these silicon uh, couplers off as well as removing the throttle bodies as well. So it's a bit of an in-depth process. We're going to start by basically disassembling this part here uh, and then we'll move on to the rest of it. Um, I might put you up on a time lapse for some of this and come back with the highlights, but um, man, these engines are ugly underneath the covers. Well, after a bit of a struggle, we managed to get the airbox out, the intakes out, um, had a little help from these two, not. Uh, it was a bit of a struggle to get the intake inlets out um, and I had to do, undo a few random hoses. Um, side note, how small are these bloody turbos? Tiny. Next step, we're gonna fit the new intake. Uh, it's a bit finicky, got a kind of as opposed to having two sort of separate pieces is now one, so the access to the bolts is gonna be pretty hard, but we'll give it a go, put it back on the time-lapse and go from there. Intakes installed. Um, four bolts, three pretty easy. The fourth one uh, down the bottom left underneath the um, intake was pretty challenging, but we, we, we made it. Um, now we just need to basically just button it up, put the filter on, um, and then we can probably go for a rip. But uh, yeah, I'm interested to see how uh, hard it's gonna be to get those uh, couplers back on the, um, the turbo inlets there, but um, we'll give it a run. And there it is, all buttoned up, ready to go. Um, this thing is massive, just for comparison. That's a 4-litre V8. This thing's huge. It'll suck small children up off the uh, the sidewalk. Um, won't lie, filming this a few weeks after install. I uh, had a couple busy weeks. Was down at the F1 last weekend. Um, but uh, And I've also yeah, managed to, in that time, managed to drive it a few times. Um, definitely the sound is audibly different. Um, performance, I uh, didn't expect any... Uh, net gain on um, just the the intake alone without any any tuning, um, but uh, certainly makes up for it with the uh, the induction noise. Um, 
I will put a few clips in um, before and after. I, I, the noise this thing <laughs> creates just doesn't really come across in the camera, um, but uh, I'll done my best to, to kind of capture the, the sound. Um, but uh, enjoy, and until the next one, like, comment, and subscribe.